think what's so nice about this year's reveal is that we're actually getting to see the work, you know, kind of displayed in 3D. We can kind of go, we can touch, we can interact with it. And especially when it comes to things like design for industry and fashion, you know, you can actually kind of get a real feel for the garments. You get a sense of the haptics, the touch as well, if you can walk around it, which just doesn't translate on screen. And I know that for my course for fashion communication as well, it's great to be able to actually leaf through the publications that the students have been working on as well. I mean, it's incredible. Like, I didn't expect so much talent in one room. Um, there's such a wide variety of skills on show. There's things like fashion design, but then you've got furniture, and it's just so amazing to see so much talent in one room and all these kind of people and all their skills coming together in one place. I think that the amazing thing about Reveal this year is that we're back on campus and that we're actually seeing and touching and picking things up again, uh, having been online for such a long time. Um, it's amazing to see like printed artefacts and furniture, fashion, you know, to really kind of get that tactility that's so key to, to design. And the, the breadth of research, I think, really comes through for me this year, that there's some amazing, amazing powerful narrative in, in the research that students are doing across product design, fashion, interiors, fashion communication. I think that, that that's really powerful. I think the great thing about fashion communication is it is about fashion but the emphasis is really on communication so the students have a lot of freedom to explore subjects that they're really interested in. It's whatever they're passionate about and we really give them a lot of leeway to kind of do with that what they want. They can explore that through a range of visual media whether that's film, photography, styling um, or even things like illustration and animation as well and just every year we're consistently impressed because they just find new ways to approach these topics and I think especially for this cohort you know that had their studies interrupted by the pandemic you know it's been amazing to see what they've been able to create you know in spite of that and I think in some ways they've been really forced to think differently and that has actually been a huge beneficial thing for them. It's such an amazing course. I went into it thinking it would be like clothes, photo shoots and styling and that was pretty much it and although we do do a lot of those things and that is really exciting and really fun there's just so many different elements to it so we did fashion film modules, we did projects on physical fashion spaces in stores um, designing them and you know how they would act in a retail space so it's been really exciting to kind of try so many different things that I never thought you know the course would encompass and it's given me um, a huge range of transferable skills because now I have a little bit of a taste in all these different areas and it's, it's quite valuable to have all of those skills. Following university we are seeing more and more students go on to study MA which is great either here with us at Northumbria which is wonderful or going on more niche specific courses. Students are getting a broader and broader kind of remit in terms of employment these days as in fashion communication, as the industry changes as rapidly as it does, we have designed the course to kind of follow that, that rapid change and that rapid development. So lots more student going into social media content management and creation, looking at brand strategy for, for big multinational companies, and also a lot more students kind of setting up their own thing um, and becoming like young entrepreneurs and starting their own businesses also. I'm currently working for uh, the Couples. Um but I really want to just keep like tapping into my own creativity and I think the course has given me so much confidence in my own creativity and I don't feel scared about shouting about my skills and my creativity now.